I've been to meetings of fintechs, I've been to meetings of policymakers, I've been to lots of meetings of bankers. But I haven't been to meetings with substantial numbers from all three at the same time. This is the first forum where I've seen that people realize and say, banking in five years is going to be quite different than banking today. Disruption is happening. So what do we do about it? Capital has never been as cheap as it is today, but there's still millions of small businesses that feel that access to financing is a constraint to the growth of their business. You've got businesses that are growing and they've got nothing to put forward as collateral, and that makes it very difficult for banks to lend to them. Thinking about alternative solutions to credit scoring, looking for ways around collateral, but that still get banks comfortable with credit. Focusing on things like regulation are things that need to happen in order to further the conversation and really get to the outcome we want. How do we successfully support startups, women and youth, entrepreneurs at a significant scale? SME are the engines for economic growth and also they have a significant impact on poverty reduction. So it's a social issue as well. It's, it's not only an economic issue. We should not see bank financing and market-based financing as competing. These are, these are complementary. There's a thin line between what is a financial service and what it is not, and, and who is allowed to offer those services. What's needed from the G20? Are the innovators being able to talk to the regulators? The very fact a small startup from India is out here talking to people, and we're being heard out here, I think it's a great thing. As regulators, we need to really uh, understand the ingenuity of the market. It is outside of mature economies where the true innovation and the true harnessing of that imagination uh, is taking place. There's an explosion of alternative ways to underwrite SMEs. Using technology, we have now completely different new opportunities to accelerate access to finance. The introduction of lots of data is giving investors the opportunity to make more informed decisions. You have a nicer balance between uh, the actual risk and the perceived risk. The constraint is not the data they have access to, but their imagination in using it. If you're a financial institution, you've got to be prepared to throw everything out that you've done in the past. By no means will established players be eliminated, but the ones who are able to engage in a thoughtful way will probably find their businesses flourishing in ways that they weren't even expecting. These kinds of conferences very often, you know, the, it becomes banks versus other. But I really felt like this was the first time I started hearing about partnerships. These partnerships are what will make or break banks. They are things that banks cannot do on their own. Banks themselves will have to change. Everyone across industry and across the regulatory community all see that it's time for a good change.